West Virginia, home to endless coal trains and some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. I'm here for one reason, the elusive smallmouth bass that live in the New River Gorge. Home of the newest national park in the United States. That's a West Virginia smallmouth right there, baby. For Academy Sports and Outdoors, I'm Marty Smith, and this is Traditions. My man. Hey, Marty, Marty how Smith. you doing? Troy Stifler, nice to meet Great you. Great to see you, Troy. What are we gonna do? It's gorgeous. A little smallmouth fishing on the New River today. Reminds me so much of home. I grew up on this river, and it's just like walking back into my youth. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's so awesome, man. It's it, always different every day, and uh, everything's just starting to get green. The water looks great. Should be a fabulous day on the water. All right, I'm ready for Let's it. Let's do it. Get small mouth, Let's huh? do it, yes, sir. We're going to head down river today. We'll rip some lips. I'm all about ripping lips. Where do I sit here? Yes, sir. You're going to sit right there. All right. Put your feet up there on the tube. I feel like uh, Kate Winslet in yeah, Titanic up here. Right. Man, it's so gorgeous out here. Oh yeah, man, I tell you, it's been a crazy week weather-wise here in West Virginia. Day before yesterday, we had snow on the ground. Today's gonna be 80 degrees. Unbelievable. Spring in the mountains. And that's why I said every day's changing. <laughs> you never know what to expect. Snow to 80. Welcome to wild, wonderful West by God. West by God. When that vibration of that crankbait that you're throwing, moving through the water, those fish hear that bait, it spikes their interest, especially if they're super hungry. So you'll come up on these rock flats like you see up here ahead of us, and those fish will hold right in those eddies. You can throw down that way, you're perfect. When I was a kid, we used to come down here after high school, park underneath the interstate bridge, and we'd walk over here and we'd wade fish in. I mean, you know how it is growing up on the New River. It's just amazing is what yeah. it is, and I gotta tell you, when I was growing up, being out there all the time. It's just what you have, and it's just what you know, and it's what you do, it's every day. I did not have the proper perspective on how amazing it is to wake up every single day and have that at your disposal. I tell you, I still get humbled every day when customers come. I mean, we have the honor and the privilege to fish people from all over the United States. Since the river, you know, in 2020, became the newest national park and reserve. People come from all over to, for this experience to do what you're doing today. They talk about the beauty and how wonderful everything looks. It's amazing to see and to remember. The river is cantankerous. Her personality will humble you. Respect her or she'll rage. Love her and she'll carry you. I got, got one. one. Yep. You got one. There you go. Good job, mate. West Virginia smallmouth right there. Yes, sir. There you go. Got a belly full of food, too. Belly full of food. I'm happy yeah. to see you. It's wonderful to meet you. I appreciate your hospitality. The first fish of the day. Nothing to write home about, but at least we're making progress. The smallmouth get big. That was a small male that you caught. And you catch a lot of 14, 15 inch smallmouth. It takes about 12 years to grow to be 20 inches long. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Rolling pole, baby. Yeah. How do you describe what this river means to this region and this state? Oh, it's everything. West Virginia initially, and still today, for the most part, is a coal state. You know, we, we supply energy, not only for this country, but other countries around the world. And, you know, with the new energy sources, it's really put a hurting on the coal industry and the state of West Virginia. And without that coal industry, you know, it's everything to this community. You know, the coal fields is what brought people to West Virginia. And so the new river is the new coal, really. I mean, it's created new jobs, it's tourism, and I think it'll continue to grow. With it being the first year, you know, I think in the future, you're gonna see tremendous growth in the southern part of the state here, and uh, they're coming to see the second oldest river in the world. Second and, oldest uh, river in the world. Yeah, called the New River. That's a little- know, uh, isn't that funny? Yeah, yeah, sure is. With life moving so fast for all of us these days, it's easy to forget how fun this is. West Virginia is known for coal, but if there's one constant in life, it's change. This piece of land is proof. 
once an integral coal yard, it is now a free campground. We made it about halfway down the river. It's been a blast so far and stopped to have a little bite to eat at this fancy campground. Who's our new friend? This is Sammy. Sammy Pugh is my business partner. We've owned New River Trophy Outfitters for the last 15 years and lots of experiences on this new river. What's the significance of this campground, Sammy? Well, this is a new campground. This is a National Park Service campground and it's free to the public. About 10 years ago, there was a coal preparation plant here. This is where they actually cleaned the coal and loaded trains and you look at it now and it's a nice green area. Great new addition to the park. All the camping's free. You can travel up and down the river. It's all public land. A nice thing for our area here, Sandstone, Hinton, Meadow Creek, because we didn't have any public camping areas and, and access to the river. You're just a few miles off I-64. If you're coming out of Maryland, Northern Virginia, D.C., it's you know just a hop, skip, and a jump down the road, and it's right here, you know, free for the public to use. So we got about another mile? Yeah, a little so. over a mile. Yeah, good fishing left to go. Looking forward to the rest of this trip down the river here and maybe putting a few more in the boat, boys, we think. We'll do it. I like the way you think. All right. We got to get another one in the boat. Oh hey, man, here, that's baby. a good one. Hurry, get that in there. <laughs> that is a stud. All right. That's a West Virginia smallmouth right there, baby. That's what you come We've for. We've been waiting for that one all day, Sammy. Look at that one packed full. Look at that entire crawfish. He's eating well. Hold it up here. Let me take a picture. No, oh, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah, I see that whole crawfish. Yeah, isn't that neat? That is crazy. All right, buddy. Go back to your home there, man. I hear you. Good job, buddy. My man. That's what we're here for. You know, if the fishing is good, it's a bonus, but it's about the quality time that you get out here with whoever we're with it. It's your best friend, if it's your children, your wife or husband. I mean, it's about the time that you have. In today's world, you don't have that time. You realize as you age that long days become short years. And it seems like we're, the warp speed button is pushed. Yeah. But when you're out here on this gorgeous river, with a fishing rod in your hand, messing around with your buddies, it kind of stops a little bit. Yeah, it's almost like time stands still. It kind of stops. Yeah, no, it does. What a wonderful blessing. Yes, sir. I really appreciate you bringing me out here today and helping me reconnect with the new river. And as I said when we started, it is home. This is the exact same aesthetic that we had in Giles County where I grew up in Virginia. And the beauty is just indescribable. It's beyond words as far as the eye can see from mountain ridge to mountain ridge and from rapid to rapid. It's just stunning. And I appreciate you sharing your expertise and your spirit with me. Man, I had a great time. I appreciate the opportunity. And uh, like I said, I've had the opportunity to meet great people throughout my career. And I just chalked up and added another one to my list. I remember this for a long time. And uh, I'm glad you felt like you were home. Well, don't lose my number, I because won't. we'll be back. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love to hear that. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother.